Why, hello friends, Jen Foxbot here for another edition of Math Mondays. Da 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 da, yeah! All right, thanks for joining me. In this episode, we are gonna talk about averages. Whoa, yeah! All right, so the reason why I wanna cover this topic is because it's a super common mathematical term that is used all over the place. It can be very, very helpful and it can also be very misleading if we don't understand what it actually means. So let's dive into it. All right, so uh, when I say average, what I really mean is, well, the mean. <laughs> so you might have heard the terms mean, median, and mode when talking about averages. Mean is the most, uh, I guess, common, uh, that's the most commonly used mathematical term when we're talking about average. But each of these uh, concepts mean different things. So mean is typically the average, and I'll define that in one second. Median is the middle. Uh, so when we have a data set, median is the actual middle of that data set. If we were to, for example, line every person up by height, uh, we'll add one more. Middle would be uh, this person because there's three people on uh, the left side and three people on the right side. And so this is the exact middle of our data set. So that is median. And mode is most popular. So if we were to ask what's the most popular height here, well, I drew them all different, um, but you would find uh, if there were two people with the same height, um, and that would be the, the most popular, assuming that that was the most common. Um, cool, so median is the middle, mode is most popular or most common, I guess is a better way to phrase it. So uh, these are, these three concepts mean very different things in mathematics. And it's really important that we understand them so that we can understand what uh, information those concepts are giving us and what information they're not giving us. So mean uh, is basically the value that we would get if we were to share something equally among everyone in a data set. So let's use a simple example. Let's say that me and two of my BFFs go out uh, to pick blackberries. And uh, at the beginning, we agree that we are going to share all of our blackberries equally because we don't know what bush we're gonna come across or maybe we get chased away by a squirrel. You never know. So my friends and I, we agree at the outset Cool. However many blackberries each of us picks, we will share them equally at the end. So how do we figure out how many we share? Well, first of all, we got to get blackberries. So let's assume that person one, we don't pick blackberries for too long. So let's assume that, assume that person one uh, grabs eight blackberries. Uh, person two gets 13 and person three gets nine. Um, so we're not super hungry, but we want a little sweet treat and we want to share uh, because that's the kind of friends that we are. So the first, uh, the first thing we need to do to figure out how many each of us gets now that we're sharing equally is to figure out how many total we picked. So to do that, we add eight plus 13 plus nine uh, eight and nine is 17, uh, 17 and 13 is gonna give me a 30. So the three of us together picked 30 blackberries. And for the sake of this story, we'll just say that they're giant blackberries. And so one blackberry is very filling. Okay, so three of us have 30 blackberries. And now we say, okay, well, how many did each of us pick? Well, let's flip the question. Um, and say, well, if each of us had picked five blackberries each, we wouldn't have to divide any because we're coming to the table already having equal amounts. And so then in that case, we could say, well, how many did we pick total? And you would add five, three times, five times three, which is 15. And so 
in that scenario, it helps us kind of um, reverse the problem so that we can say, oh, well, if we know how many we picked and we know how many people there are, three, then we know that we just have to find um, an equal distribution between three people. So we divide to figure that out. So there are three people and 30 blackberries. So to find uh, the mean, we just divide 30 divided by three, which gives us 10. So if we divided all of our blackberries equally, each of us, myself and my two friends, would get 10 blackberries. So that is what the average or the mean tells us. That's what the mean means. Ah, sorry, terrible puns. Um, so basically the mean is what we would get assuming each person got an equal share. Or to uh, represent that in a general equation, because you know how I like writing things generally, the mean, I want to say, I'll just rewrite it, equals um, the total number of things divided by the total number of people. And I'm going to abbreviate people like PPL. Okay, so you might not have tangible things. That's okay. Like height is not necessarily tangible. You can't hold height in your hand, I don't think. <laughs> um, and uh, the bottom term might not necessarily be people. Uh, if you wanted to say, for example, figure out what the total height of, or what the, sorry, what the average height of different types of dogs were, you'd have the total number of dogs on the bottom. Um, but basically this is a good way to think about it. It's just mean is what you get um, if you were to share things equally. So to illustrate how mean can be a little misleading, I wanna look at um, an actual data set or some actual numbers. So in the United States, the, um, the total wealth within the US is 98 trillion dollars. And so this is actually um, 98 times 10 to the 12th. Um, and so that's what that number actually is. And uh, the total number of people in the United States, um, and by the way, this is 2018 data, um, the number of people, again, I'm gonna abbreviate because I like to be lazy, um, the number of people is 327.2 uh, million. And this is gonna be uh, equals 327.2 times 10 to the sixth. Um, so if we were to ask, what is the average wealth of an American? Well, the equation's easy, right? We already know that the mean is going to equal the total dollar wealth. Uh, really quick caveat, wealth uh, does not mean cash. Wealth includes uh, all the things that we own, for example, if we own a car, that goes into our personal wealth. If we own a house, that goes into our wealth. Um, and wealth, uh, so it would be the total value of all the things that we own, plus the cash in our bank account, plus all the stocks and retirement things and all that good stuff, um, subtracted, uh, uh, and we subtract our debts from that. So wealth is an accumulation of the things we own minus our debts. Uh, so it's not just cash. Uh, anyway, so the average wealth of an American would just be the total value of American wealth, $98 trillion, um, divided by the total number of people, 327.2 times 10 to the 6th. And so what we get, I am not going to do this in my head, um, we get about the average uh, or mean wealth of an American is about $300,000. I'm rounding up a tiny bit. It's like 299 something something. Um, and so right off the bat, we can say, well, wait a second, what does this tell us? And the answer is, well, not that much actually, because in our society, in our economy, we do not distribute wealth equally. So when we say that the total wealth of the United States of America is 98 trillion, 
it actually doesn't give us that much information about the individual wealth of an American person because uh, it's not distributed evenly. And so to say that the mean wealth of an American is 300,000 is really kind of meaningless because uh, it doesn't actually tell us about an actual person that exists in the United States. A more representative data point uh, when talking about wealth would actually be median. So again, median is the middle. And so that's where if you were to um, organize everybody by the amount of wealth that they had from lowest to highest, and then you were to draw a line perfectly in the middle, um, so half of the people have more than that line and half of the people have less than that line, um, that would be a much more representative figure because, um, because wealth is not distributed evenly. Um, and so uh, this number is actually skewed by uh, people on the higher end as well as by people on the lower end. Okay, so um, yeah, if you're curious, uh, median wealth of the United States is actually about, uh, hold on, let's see, I'll write it down, median is uh, 97,000, 97, yeah, sorry, 97,300. Um, and the median wealth actually depends a lot on your age. So for example, if you are under 35, like myself, the uh, median wealth of that age group is about $6,600. Uh, if you're between 35 and 44, um, it would be 35,600. And if you're between uh, 45 and 54, the median wealth of that age group is about 80, uh, 85,000. So uh, the median is a much more informative value when we are talking about wealth, which is a uh, data set or data, I guess you could say, that is distributed in uh, different ways. And so by, by analyzing a data set in multiple ways and really asking what does the data set look like, how is it distributed, um, and comparing these values to each other, you can get a much better understanding of what reality is. Cool, okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about average, mean, uh, median or mode. And uh, please, of course, let me know. Ooh, Marley has a question. Squeak, squeak. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about other mathematics topics, and I would be happy to tackle them with you. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!